Thank you very much. I would like to go back uh, to the topic of the rare metals and minerals. And um, uh, the Paris uh, Agreement, Climate Agreement, implementation of the goals uh, in the next uh, two decades, decades uh, we expected that uh, the uh, demand for me uh, copper would increase by 40 percent. And for uh, nickel, cobalt, um, and lithium, uh, the demand would be even greater. Uh, cobalt, more, 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 60, 70 percent, and lithium, 90 percent, greater demand. The various metals that are used um, uh, depends on the different uh, technologies and um, graphite, lithium, mangum are very important for the um, energy um, dependency of the battery. So these elements uh, are very important uh, for the magnets that are very important for the wind turbines and um, generators. Uh, the um, networks, uh, electric um, grids also uh, need a lot of other rare metals and elements. The existing plans for investments and supplies uh, of these critical uh, minerals do not uh, meet the demand. For example, in the case of lithium and cobalt and other rare elements, the three leading manufacturers control more than three-fourths of a global production. Uh, and with respect to the source of supplies, China is a main global uh, supplier of 66 percent of uh, the different uh, rare elements. And um, in the past, it was 90 percent even. Other countries that are rich in rare minerals and elements needed for the green transition are Russia, South Africa, Peru, Australia, and India. Most of these countries uh, are emerging markets, uh, which means that uh, the developed countries would depend on supplies from the uh, least developed economies uh, where uh, uh, they have uh, less uh, developed democracy democratic governments and um, violation of human rights. In conclusion, I would like to focus on uh, several things. Uh, the transition to clean energy requires considerable amounts of key substances, including rare metals and elements which I mentioned, and the dependency of, of, um, on the import in the European Union is very high. And this creates concerns concerning the stability and security of supplies of rare metals and elements. And um, there is a great potential of development of these rare metals and elements in uh, the European Union, and this should be studies in order to improve uh, the local production of such uh, elements and metals. And for the uh, successful development of mining, is the development of a suitable political policies and strategies. Uh, we should consider different uh, uh, encouraging and promoting um, uh, schemes. The European Union would also benefit from speeding up uh, in achieving the circular economy, uh, reuse, recycling, etc. of the resources. Also, uh, we should uh, uh, coordinate our approach on the European level. This is very important uh, because it is not possible each and every country to uh, cope individually with the existing challenges. Thank you very much.